Hello, friend, Mormozine here, and if you're looking to make money online, then this video is for you, and today we're talking about three good online business situations when it makes sense to use PayPal. Every day, a growing number of people venture into the world of online commerce or e-commerce in order to sell their goods and services online. When merchants first venture into the online realm, they can get in over their heads by using solutions that are too costly, too complex, or just have way too many features uh, than what the merchant truly needs. The good news is that there are solutions that follow the first time online e-commerce mer merchant that allow the first time online e-commerce merchant the opportunity to sell their products and services with much less commitment and cost on the part of the merchant. Solutions such as PayPal offer the first time e-commerce merchant the opportunity to go into the online realm and get their feet wet without drowning. One must follow the standard safety precautions associated with solutions such as PayPal, and they can be on their way to earning an online income. The good news is that there are solutions that allow the The next part of this video We'll go over what you, the merchant, will need to consider if you think a payment processing system like PayPal will be work will work for you or not. One, low monthly business volume on your e-commerce website. If you don't have a lot of sales on your e-commerce site, and especially if they are low ticket items, then you may want to consider using a pay as you go type of merchant account systems such as PayPal. Usually these types of payment processing solutions have a higher percentage rate that they charge the merchant. However, it can be as high as 15% of the price of the item being sold by the online merchant. Typical merchant accounts usually have a monthly charge associated with the account, whether you sell anything online or not. They also have a lower percentage rate they charge the merchant, so for higher volumes, the merchant will end up saving money with this solution. When deciding what type of merchant account you should get, you will want to determine the costs associated with merchant processing based on estimated monthly sales volumes. For instance, if you expect to sell 15 items that cost $25 each on average, then determine how much a third-party processor like PayPal would charge you for that, and then how much a standard merchant account processor would charge you for the month based upon the same volume. You will find that in going through this exercise, you will discover a break-even point at which you will pay less for using a standard merchant account as opposed to the third-party processor such as PayPal. Two, you are new to the whole e-commerce concept. If you are new to selling your product or service online, then it may make sense to use a third-party processor such as PayPal to handle your online payments. This way you aren't forced into a long-term contract and can discontinue using it if your business isn't working. In most cases, you can do this without having to continue to pay additional fees, such as a monthly service charge to this type of merchant account processor. With PayPal, it's easy to start up the online processing again without any additional costs if you choose to give your online business another try. Three, you sell your items on eBay. eBay is one of the largest selling platforms on the internet today. eBay became so successful they even purchased PayPal. eBay does accept payments through other means besides PayPal, 
but they set it up so that it is easier to perform your transactions through PayPal than other methods. If you are doing a huge number of transactions through eBay, it may make more sense to use your own merchant processing account as you will save a lot of money. However, the average eBay seller usually doesn't have the volume to justify using their own online merchant account unless they are already using it for another online business. Different needs for the e-commerce merchant require different solutions. By no means is there a one-size-fits-all type of solution. Merchant processing solutions that work well for one online merchant may spell disaster for another. The best thing an online merchant can do is to determine their expected sales volume and their needs and then find a solution that best serves them. For merchants who are new to e-commerce and don't expect to generate a lot of volume, PayPal can be a good solution to get them started. And thanks so much for watching, folks. I'm Mora Mozine. Please go to my Facebook fan page and send a message to my Facebook fan page. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks again.